Today I'm going to make the very useful chemical potassium nitrate from over-the-counter fertilizer. Potassium nitrate is a versatile reagent, a decent oxidizer, and has one distinct advantage over the far more readily accessible sodium nitrate in that it's a lot less hygroscopic. This was really advantageous historically, as pyrotechnics or gunpowder made using potassium nitrate were much more forgiving of being stored in damp conditions, and generally had much better shelf life as well as better overall performance. Anyway, there's several ways to make this chemical, and as always, the cleanest and most direct would be by neutralizing potassium hydroxide with nitric acid. However, nitric acid is a little too valuable to me to waste on this, so I typically like to make potassium nitrate by a double displacement reaction. To that end, I'm going to show you how to make potassium nitrate by reacting calcium nitrate fertilizer with potassium carbonate. To do this, I first need to dissolve molar equivalents of both in minimal volumes of water. For my purposes, I use half a mole of each, which represents 69.1 grams of potassium carbonate and 82 grams of calcium nitrate. Ideally, this would yield one mole of potassium nitrate, which represents 101.1 grams. As a side note, I did add an extra 8 grams of calcium nitrate, as I don't exactly trust the purity of this fertilizer. And calcium nitrate is so much more soluble than potassium nitrate, that a bit of excess won't make it into the final product, so it isn't much of a problem. Now while those are dissolving, I want to note something that I didn't notice until after I'd finished this project, and that's that the calcium nitrate fertilizer here is actually hydrated calcium ammonium nitrate. As it turns out, this derivative of calcium nitrate is widely sold as calcium nitrate due to its ease of precipitation compared to the pure stuff. In the end though, this doesn't make too much of a difference. The molar mass of calcium ammonium nitrate decahydrate is 1080.6 grams per mole, with each mole containing 10 nitrate ions and 1 ammonium ion. With that said, I would ideally have needed 108.06 grams here, and I used 90 grams. There will also be an ammonium carbonate impurity here, but I figure very little makes its way into the final product. Regardless, I do plan to convert the rest of the calcium ammonium nitrate to calcium nitrate for future projects, and I'm not sure if there would be any interest, but feel free to leave a comment if you'd like me to record that and post a video on the process. Anyway, once both salts are completely dissolved, I simply mix them together thoroughly. This will immediately result in the precipitation of the highly insoluble calcium carbonate, while potassium nitrate will stay suspended in solution. At this point, it's simply a matter of filtering away the calcium carbonate, rinsing it a little bit, and boiling down the filtrate to crystallize my potassium nitrate. To this end, I go ahead and boil down the solution from an initial volume of 600 milliliters to around 100 milliliters, and then I take it off the heat. The beaker is chilled to help potassium nitrate crystals form, and then I pass them through vacuum filtration to collect them. These are then thoroughly washed with isopropyl alcohol to help them dry faster and to hopefully wash away any ammonium salts that might have formed. I then scraped my potassium nitrate crystals into another dish and desiccated them overnight before weighing them. This gave me a final mass of 91.06 grams, but I still felt like these could get a bit drier, so I gave them another two days in the desiccator. When I came back this time, I got an actual final mass of 89.37 grams, which represents an 88.3% yield. I think this is pretty good considering I should have used a bit more calcium nitrate to account for the fact that it was actually calcium ammonium nitrate, and I think I could get very nearly a 100% yield with this adjustment. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least found it interesting, and as always, I want to thank all my incredible patrons for their very generous contributions. Your support is incredibly vital and very appreciated. And to everyone else, if you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or even by becoming a patron yourself. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.